Hi, let's talk about normals and what they are. Well, basically, normals are these lines, as you can see, or vectors, that are perpendicular to the surface, or more precisely, to the tangent surface. In this example, we can see this tangent surface that's, uh, that has this line here, and this line is actually the normal. So once, once you have this curved plane and you get any face, any of those faces, all of them are going to have their own tangent surface and the line perpendicular to it is going to be called normal. In this example you can also see all the normals on this surface, each pointing their own direction. The direction of a normal is going to tell the light source how to behave when it hits the surface. In this example, because we see that the normal is facing outwards from this face here, we know the light is going to bounce off of it depending on the direction of the normal. In this case, if light was coming directly towards normally towards the surface, it would bounce off straight back. But if, for example, it came from this direction, it would bounce off in this direction, under the normal angle. If the normal of this face was reversed, it would appear black in a 3D software but it would not appear black in a, in a game engine or a rendering engine it would just not be displayed as we can see now that we inverted uh, you can see now that it's normally facing inwards so now for example if we deleted this face we would see that we can see it from this side and the others could not be seen because their normals are facing the, the other direction for modeling purposes, you can go to lighting and two-sided lighting to enable the view from both sides. It's called two-sided lighting, so you can uh, so you can more easily model. But I would not advise it because then you may accidentally export the model in that way, and it would display incorrectly in the engine, as I will show you a bit later. Now those are face normals, so the key thing you need to take away from this is that the direction the normal is facing of a certain face is the direction which will dictate the uh, direction the light will bounce off of it. So that's the main thing regarding face normals. Now let's go to vertex normals. These are the vertex normals. They're displayed in the same manner as the face normals were displayed before. So, what this is telling us is that actually each vertex has their own normal. And since all of these edges are set to be hard, because we want the light to break in normal hard angles, they are displayed in this way. Because the light on this vertex is going to bounce off directly from it and this one and this one that's why we have this uh, hard edge so-called hard edge uh, visible but what would happen if we for example set these two edges to be soft what would happen is something we call the averaged normal so the vertex that had three normals, you can actually look at it as three vertices that are having each their own normal. And when we average normals, we actually get one vertex that has the average normal of those three. And that's why, as you can see, the light now behaves as it's not hard and it's trying to, it's trying to look smooth. Now this works better on, for example, a sphere. All the normals here are averaged, as you can see in a second. 
all of them are averaged. But what would happen if we put them all in hard mode? It looks hard and rough and each vertex, because there are four faces connecting, you get actually four vertices with the round normal facing their own way. That's why it looks hard. These two types of shading are usually called soft or hard shading. Now, how does that influence our 3D model besides the way it looks and behaves in relation to light? Well, let's jump into the engine and see what, what can happen. Here we have two cubes. One is hard edged and one is soft edged as you can see the slight difference in shading but we're going to go to the unlit mode because that's not what interests us at the moment what i'm going to do is i created this small shader that that's going to displace the face along its normal and what's going to happen in the hard version in the hard edged version all the faces are going to split in their own separate way because they're going to follow the each individual's normal uh, direction and this one is going to scale as if we were going to as if we scaled it by using the scale tool because it's moving all the vertices along its uh, normal uh, averaged direction so let's preview that As you can see, as I said, this one is actually splitting all its faces because it's actually looking at those three vertices as actually that one vertex is is actually three vertices in the same place. So once we start uh, displacing faces along its normals, it's going to split them apart. And in this case, it's only one vertex that has an average normal and it's moving as if we are scaling it. And as you can see in this hard edged uh, version, you don't see other planes unless we rotate around it. Because they're, they're facing, because each face is facing their own direction. Now in engine we can put two-sided shading and as you can now see uh, all of them are displayed correctly actually incorrectly would be a more precise way of putting it so those are the main things you should be aware of as, uh, as you model and you should always pay attention to not have any inverted or so-called flipped faces uh, because when you export it and for example your technical artist in the team has to import it into the engine it's going to return the model because uh, the normals are inverted and the faces will not display correctly so you should always have that in mind and also if you for example are having a a beveled cube you might want to sometimes soft soften these edges if you're not baking normals we're not going to talk about that for now because it will look more natural so you should always be aware of what which edges should be soft, which edges should be hard. And that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching.